got to drive your picture forward. Don't play with what you hear, play with what you see, which is me. All right, again, I told you I'd give him a hard time. <laughs> We've got you helping us along, not being millstones round our neck. Okay, here we go. And... Uh, Samuel Barber, violin concerto, the last movement, and the soloist, who was very brilliant, took it extremely fast. And it was in 6 8, one in a bar, da, 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 da. and then in the woodwind had to go, da, 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 and they eyes popped out of their heads. <laughs> and one of them said to me, Excuse me, we can't play it that fast. And I said, Well, play most of it. <laughs> I said, You'll all leave out different notes, and they'll all get played. And the first flute said, is that official? And I said, yes. <laughs> so we tried it. They all came round to listen afterwards in the recording booth, you know, and it sounded as if everybody was playing. So, if you can't, if, if you forgot your top set this morning, <laughs> if you forgot your top set this morning, don't play the note slow. Keep going, leave some of them out, all right? Just like professionals, don't you do that? <laughs> okay. Now, we're going to do 55, and then we're going to go on and see if we can get this tongue a little bit quicker. Really tongue the separate ones fast. 55, have we got the right bar? No, 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 that's the one. Okay, 55. Okay. That's good percussions, keep going, keep ahead and around the other. And. <laughs> Thank you. 
made me think I'm standing in a cold draft as loud as ever possibly you can. Absolutely blow your heads off. First time I conducted this piece, ladies and gentlemen, I was invited by David Zinman, who many of you will know, a very great man, who was music director here. It was the Baltimore Symphony. Would I do a Fourth of July concert? And I, being British, you know, I didn't know too much about it. <laughs> <laughs> Except we lost something terribly important. <laughs> and anyway, I showed up, and David Zinman, small boy Raphael, who was born here in Rochester, was about, I guess, 10 at the time, maybe 12. And I bought him, as a present from London, a T-shirt with a Union Jack on it. <laughs> and I was due to look after him, because David and Mary were out of town, I think. And he was walking around with me in the break of this concert, wearing an English flag <laughs> on the 4th of July. <laughs> we got some very strange looks. And the orchestra said to me, you don't need to rehearse the Stars and Stripes forever, that's fine. And there were four, four flute players in the flute section, we get to this bit, I've, I've got a piano conductor part, not like this score. I didn't, I didn't know who was playing what, I just kept going, see? And it was a perfectly good tune, better than God Save the Queen, actually. <laughs> uh, it got to the trio of, of the middle section, and all four of these flute players seized piccolos, stared at me, and blasted the living daylight. <laughs> it was one of the most exciting experiences. <laughs> I've never forgotten it. And then I had to say something afterwards to the audience at Oregon Ridge, and I was told it was the best concession speech that had ever been made. <laughs> right, okay. Now then, now you've all warmed up, we'll play that again. 71, all right? The end is much better, tongue it fast, leave some out, but don't play slow. Be going percussion. 71. Right on 71. <coughs> One, two. <laughs>
come back to the British Empire. <laughs>